I live in Devon, in the southwest of England, where I run a shiatsu school and a cooking school and a three-year training course. I got into macrobiotics in 1980. I was living in London, and uh, two things happened. First of all, uh, I was out with some friends walking the countryside. We stopped at a pub, and one of the friends brought out uh, a lunchbox. We were sitting in the garden, and I was eating my ploughman's. Uh, she brought out her lunchbox with rice and aduki beans. I still, still remember the aduki beans. Uh, vegetables, and she was eating that, and that was very curious. So uh, I was asking her about that. Uh, I was with my girlfriend at the time, and she started telling us about macrobiotics, and it happened that Michu was going to be uh, giving a lecture uh, um, uh, a couple of weeks later. So I went along to the lecture, uh, very dry, very long, uh, very serious, but Michio's use of yin and yang uh, completely fascinated me. It, yin and yang seemed to explain so much uh, in terms of life and illness, and that really captivated me. I was, I think, 24 at the time. I was teaching biology. I was very interested in medicine. and. Um, his approach to medicine was, was really fascinating. Uh, shortly later, I remember sitting down to one of the first books on complementary medicine, A to Z of Complementary Medicine by I think a Dr. Stanway. And there was a double page spread uh, for a lot of different therapies, and there's one on macrobiotics. And uh, again, I found the whole yin yang approach absolutely fascinating. And to me, it seemed to explain everything. So. So then I was hooked and started studying in the Cushy Institute uh, in London. Doing food, cooking, uh, everything, and it really fascinated me. So that's how I got started. Mm. So how have you personally felt with the food? Have you benefit from the food? How have I personally felt from the food? Well, I I, I think food's a journey, really. You know, it's I think when I started. The impression was given that, well, you just eat the right food and then your health's great and, you, and it sorts you out emotionally and you become spiritually developed and, you know, and that's it. Um, I think it's much more than that. It's, well, the relationship with food is a journey. It's not, it's not an end. Okay, now I'm eating macrobiotically or now I'm eating a perfect diet. Everything changes, so what we, what we need to eat changes all the time. Um, at times it's challenging physically, it brings things up physically, sometimes it brings things up emotionally, yeah, because our emotions are, are very tied up with, uh, with, with our eating patterns. So I think food's a journey, it's an amazing tool um, um, to freedom, is really my attitude. The more we understand about food and the effect it has on us, uh, the freer we can become um, to choose health. Um, to choose the effects that we want from food according to uh, what I want physically in terms of energy and doing different things, what I want emotionally and what I want spiritually. So how has macrobiotics changed since you started? Uh, it's changed a lot. Um, um, I think mostly for the better. Various things looking back at the kind of early 1980s, um, very inspiring teachings, you know, wonderful teachings, but there are a number of, it was a young movement it feels to me, and it suffered from some of the um, uh, kind of faults or shortcomings of a new movement. There was a lot of idealism, a lot of it was rather unrealistic, uh, a lot of people were pretty dogmatic, you know, macrobiotics is the way. Um, and the diet was quite limited and the, the general attitude was um, the best thing is to become more yang, you know, we were all trying to get more yang, so it was, you know, more rice, more soup, you know, fruit bad, salad bad, you know, anything yin bad, so actually it was far from, you know, it was far from, the, it, it had a big, uh, um, um, you know, imbalance in it. Mm. I think now it's really matured. I think um, uh, if it, it feels strange in a way that, that there was a lot of enthusiasm for macrobiotics then um, because it was new and the world really needed things.
things like that. Um, but actually, I think macrobiotics has far more to offer now because it feels like so many people have become more conscious of health, food, consciousness, and have really moved to towards macrobiotics. And so now it's not such a big jump. Thinking about food, it's not such a big jump for people, for many people to get into macrobiotics. So I think we have a much more mature approach to food, uh, much more realistic. Um, people, a lot of people have been eating macrobiotically for 20 or 30 years, and you need a different kind of diet. You, you know, you really have to work out a diet which really works long term, which I think you know has more variety. Um, I think for quite a few people, they found that they need more animal food than white fish once or twice a week. Um, they need a bit more than oily fish, fine. Um, so I think it's become I think it's become uh, more flexible and more adaptable, and uh, a, lot, a lot more wisdom in uh, understanding the effects of diet. Mm. So how have you incorporated uh, shiatsu into macrobiotic? Because a lot of people don't see the connection between shatsu and macrobiotics. Yeah, I mean, to, to to me, you can you can do one or other. But for me, the the great thing about uh, learning shiatsu and practicing shiatsu for many years is really getting to know the body. Um, um, macrobiotics, as I learnt it, started learning it in the nineteen eighties, depended a lot on visual diagnosis. Uh, facial diagnosis, oral diagnosis, and so on. And I'm sure that Micho and you know other people, when you become very good at that, you can really tell a lot. But you know, for me, I find it really quite confusing. What I love about Shiatsu is actually being able to feel what's going on in the body, being able to feel the meridians. You know, if I want to assess the meridians, I can just feel an arm or a leg, or you know, feel what the energy is in the different meridians. To do abdominal palpation. Find out what is actually happening with the internal organs. Use back or abdominal diagnosis to assess a person's energy. Um, it makes it much more. It, it feels much more grounded. Uh, and I find in teaching macrobiotics the same thing. That it's great for people to get their hands on the body. So would you inspire someone who's studying cooking to to try and try chefs? Yeah, I think I think so. Shatsu and Douyin, you know, Douyin's a, you know, it was really brought to the West by macrobiotics, and I, th I think Douyin's great. You know, Douyin is self shiatsu. It's you know, working on the body, finding the meridians, finding the points. Um, it's great for dealing with all kinds of minor problems, mm -hmm. uh, health problems yourself or with other people, and again, it gets you in touch with the body. So, you know, if you if you're interested in cooking, you don't have to become an expert shiatsu practitioner, but you know, learn, you know, learning some doing, learning a bit of shiatsu, I think is great. And it's free. And it's free, yeah. You know, and, and what, what I, you know, still I think, you know, one of the central things about macrobiotics is let's become our own doctors. Mm. You know, let's look, really learn to look after our own health. Mm. Um, occasionally we may need to use Western medicine, and if we really need it, let's use Western medicine. But, but there's so much we can do ourselves, and mm. understanding the meridian system, and the body energy um, is, is one of the tools that, that we can use. Mm. So what would your piece of advice be for someone who's new, who's watching this? I would say uh, have fun with macrobiotics. Um, experiment. One of, uh, one of the uh, things that George Asawa said who started off macrobiotics was, um, was um, forever be a student, you know, and non, the idea of non-credo. Um, don't get bogged down in rules and following rules. The idea of macrobiotics is to is to become freer. So you know, studying macrobiotics, there's there's incredible amount of, of of knowledge and wisdom in macrobiotics, and then play with it, experiment, find out for yourself. Don't get bogged down in, in kind of rigid rules. You know, with the food, try eating a very limited diet. See what that does. Try eating different foods. See what see what effect they have on you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, so that you're learning for yourself. You know, don't become dependent on other people. You know, study with good teachers, uh, but don't become dependent on teachers.